there's a couple RVers out there on YouTube that I watch that are or have transitioned. Now one of the groups of people that I watch on YouTube is the RVers. That's how I got uh, watching the old Eric Nomadic Fanatic. But he's not the only one I watch. I do watch a couple other ones. And some of them are actually transitioning in one way or the other. Now the first ones I've been watching for a long time is a couple called The Winds. And their channel is Gone With The Winds. Now they started out, they were in a Class A driving around all over the place. And they are now on a sailboat. They were full-timers in their RV. Now they're full-timers on their sailboat. Now these guys, these guys are, they're a business. Uh, they have endorsement deals. They have their name on the side of the RV. They had a little car that they towed behind. Their name was all over that. I mean, they did it all. They have websites with blogs and vlogs and they do their thing. They get stuff sent to them to check out. Um, they even got RVs given to them to uh, put through their paces and all kind of stuff. So these guys were the real deal. They were legit. Their business. Their stuff was a lot of places. They traveled. Um, they reviewed some products. And they did some techie stuff. Taking out their toilet and putting in a composting toilet. Uh, going through the whole solar deal. Putting panels on and the whole nine. They go through a lot of that stuff. And now that they're on the boat, they still do the whole thing, but they went through the whole process, looking for a boat, buying a boat, the classes they had to take so they could be a captain of their boat and drive their boat, and then their first journey out by themselves and all that stuff. So it's pretty cool. But that's one that made a big transition in the RV world. They went from their big Class A to now they're on a catamaran, a big sailboat. Next is another couple, Technomadia. Now Technomadia, they first started out, it was just a guy, he lived on a little teardrop trailer that he pulled behind his car. And then his girl, Cherie, she joined him later and they bought a vintage bus. They took this big old vintage bus and they did it all up, redid it, and uh, did the solar panels and they have big battery banks and all that stuff. And they are not transitioning so much, but they are now shopping for a boat so they can live part-time in the bus and part-time on a boat. Now they're also pretty business oriented. Uh, both of them work full-time on the road. Uh, they do computer stuff, but uh, they have live feeds. They do live question and answers and stuff once in a while. So their channel isn't like constant, but every once in a while they'll have something and it's on for a while. You know, it's almost like an hour long stuff, but it's very informative and very interesting. And it's kind of cool to see where they go. Their, their big thing is they're, they're techie. So they, they go over like the different kinds of batteries for their battery bank for their solar. Uh, they do a lot of the, the Wi-Fi stuff, how to stay connected on the road while they're on the road, what equipment you need, and uh, boosters, antennas, different things you need to get to stay connected and keep Wi-Fi while you're on the road, wherever you're at. Next is Less Junk, More Journey. Now this is a couple with a small kid I think she's two or three years old and they were cruising around in a big class A and their transition was they sold the class A and they got an Airstream and a van to pull the Airstream with. Now they live on the roads just the three of them and they travel around pretty much all over the place and they stay in the touristy areas they got a lot go to a lot of the touristy places and they stay in campgrounds uh, not a whole lot of boondocking with them guys. Once in a while, I guess they do. But uh, their big transition was, like I said, they moved from a big Class A, and they, I guess you'd call it downsized, to a uh, Airstream. And then he found a van, got a van, and uh, 
did the back end to put storage stuff in because there's not a whole lot of storage on those airstreams so he's using the the van for all the storage and that's how they travel around now she is uh pretty much we'll call her a stay-at-home mom but she's a nurse every once in a while you see that uh if they're somewhere for a while she will go out and do some nursing things uh he does something with computers so he works he's got to stay connected but he works and uh they have a little brand going on so they get some stuff through patreon and they have people sending them they get mail from people they get gifts and stuff like that mostly for the little girl get a lot of stuff for her toys and dresses and things but it's kind of interesting to uh, watch them how they set up their space to accommodate a small child and we'll see how the needs change as she grows older and how they adapt to that now that they kind of downsized and went to this airstream their videos are pretty good now the guy he kind of looks like ryan reynolds a little bit i think and i think he's a casey neistat fan and why i say that is he uh uses similar music in the videos he has similar drone shots and footage and he does a lot of time lapse stuff and he's very casey neistat-esque yeah i just made up a word but now i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that but that's the kind of style so i, I think he's a casey fan and it shows in his videos all right next is the duprees now these guys are a little bit high maintenance they kind of got to go over the top with everything but they live in a fifth wheel and they got rid of their truck their regular pickup truck and they got a big old semi to pull this thing with so now they actually bought land with a little had like a little garage we'll call it on it and they are going to transition i guess to living on their piece of property and eventually build a house now they're a couple and they got a couple dogs and they're still like i said they're, they're a little bit high maintenance I, I don't mean it in a bad way but they like nice things big things over the top things like i said they got this big old semi truck that pulls their fifth wheel they don't travel very far because she doesn't want to go near i don't know the ocean or in the desert she wants to stay somewhere they still have all their stuff in storage they didn't get rid of anything because they have high-end furniture and they're not getting rid of nothing and so they still have everything and so they're, they're kind of like like i say they're a little bit high maintenance as far as rvers go there ain't nothing wrong with that that's their lifestyle they're still pretty cool they're decent people um they're funny at times but you know they're a little bit over the top but right now they are in the process of kind of fixing up this garage building that was on the property that they just acquired you know get electricity ran and all that good stuff and he's talking about where he wants to trim trees to keep trees and put other trees and kind of where they're going to situate which way they want to build the house so which way they want to see what view and all that good stuff but right now he's locking up the little building it's a good building it's a nice block building putting a new roof on it closing up the windows and stuff like that putting the, i guess doors on everything so that's where they're at now but they're still living in their fifth wheel and i guess they will be for a while but it's kind of cool because they can they got their property they can park their rig on their property and hook up because they can put whatever they want they can put a dump station hookups and everything for their trailer right there and live there while they're building their house now i'm sure there's other rvers out there going through different transitions upgrading downgrading moving from a i don't know maybe a class c to a class a or whatever but these are the guys that i watch and these are the ones that i know about so if you like me are interested in the rvers and you want to see these guys going from RVs to boats or RVs to back into a home or buying lands or whatever, check these guys out. This is Blind Views. Thanks for watching. And as always, you know it. That's the way I see it. What we do here is go back, 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 back.